Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely going to love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. So today's video, I'm really excited because we are going to Versace. And ever since I did my Barbie video where I got my very first pair of heels, I am now obsessed with heels. So let's go to Versace and try on just a glorious amount of high heels, but also look at the handbags, the clothing, and the men's clothing as well. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Now, of course, we are going to my holy grail Versace, my all-time favorite store. As soon as we walk in, we can see a lot of beautiful crystal handbags. Very, very gorgeous, especially this like summery clutch bag. So cool. I actually really, really love that. And then of course these gorgeous crystals. I mean, just look at that envelope bag. So amazingly the way that shines. For the handbags when we walk in, of course they still have the new season and they still have this super cute pink one that I really, really love. Now they do have an under the arm shoulder bag version of it as well, which is really cool and does kind of make me want it. But I really do want the La Medusa, but they only make it in the size small and not a medium. So unfortunately, if they make this in the medium, I will buy it in an instant. But until then, it is a waiting game. Speaking of pink, my essay gave me this terry cloth hat that I have been dying for. However, I do have to get a smaller size in it. I forgot what size I am in hats, but I do have a video and I will link it up above where I do get a couple Versace hats. But this one is so cute and I love it. It does have a matching t-shirt and shorts, so it's an entire look. Their new season tote bag does come in brown as well and it's a very, very chic bag. Even the La Medusa and the envelope bag all of these are really, really cool. I mean, that brown, it's so classic. Personally, I'm just not a fan of brown handbags, but maybe one day I will have one. But if I do, I think it would be like a dark brown Birkin. However, you know, very, very cute if you do like these. And here we have the beautiful wall of the La Medusas. We have their cute little new handbags up top, which is the smaller versions of the big ones down here. But this white La Medusa in the medium, I actually do really want it. I had a dream I had a white one, but it had a white Medusa head on it. And how this one has a silver one, it was white on white. So that would be so cool. But this pink is also really cute. Definitely way too pink for me. I like lighter shades like these ones. Actually, even a little bit lighter than this I really like. But these heels are really pretty, especially because they're crystals. Totally so cute. And then they do actually have a La Medusa in all pink. But again, it's just a little too pink. It's not the correct pink shade for me. So maybe one day I'll find the perfect one. Now these over here are so, so cute. I love the fact that they have an all silver one. But again, like the leather, I just don't really like the leather on it. It's that like crushy material. And I'm just not a big fan of that. Now these ones are the ones that I totally, totally love. Because, I mean, just look how cool these are. I, uh, you just really cannot go wrong with this. Of course, you know, I have the black and gold Lama Medusa. This one I do want. I just still think it is such a bummer that the zippers don't work. If you, they had like a little pocket on the inside, that would be so cool. But it's such a missed opportunity. Something that amazed me was this beautiful gold python bag. Now, even more surprising, this was only $3,000. I would totally think this would be like 6000 but it's this beautiful shade of gold, even on the inside. Yes, it is gold. And it's just, wow, what a bag this is. But again, unfortunately, it only comes in the small size. For the Dua Lipa collection, we can see the beautiful tote bag with the butterflies and the polka dots. However, the necklace, the detailing on this necklace is so cool. The butterflies, you could actually like touch them and they come out. And honestly, really, really impressive Versace quality, 100% amazing and so underestimated. More for some Versace tote bags, very, very cute. Again, you can't go wrong with these. This is actually new. I haven't seen this one yet. This one is definitely different. Kind of reminds me of like a wicker basket style, but definitely really cool. Nice inside to it. Nice leather. So definitely very approved. Of course, we do have their Greca Goddess bag. And these ones are very pretty. I will give it that but it's just not for me specifically. If I did get one, I would get the all purple one or this black and silver one that is very, very cool. For the men's jewelry, this is actually really, really good. I love their jewelry so much, especially when they have crystals involved in everything. It's just so cool. Some people think all of this is like gaudy and tacky, 
I live for Medusa, especially because I am Greek. So call me tacky, call me golly, but this is 100% so cool. And then in the very, very back, I love the Medusa head necklace. It's just so perfect. And I actually wonder why I actually don't have that already. But I will definitely have to put that on the list. We also have this gorgeous Medusa belt and the detailing on it is phenomenal. This is definitely approved. And so now since I did do my Barbie video where I tried on my very first pair of heels, I am now obsessed with heels. So we can now take a look at their heel wall and see what they have to offer. I can finally try on the brat shoes and these are so cute. Now, of course I would get these in lilac and they do have the crystals on the ankle strap. These are so, so beautiful. Now these do retail for $1,200, but they are so worth it. And you know, I will now try them on. So trying them on, I totally feel like I am wearing hooves and they actually feel really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, they're really comfortable. Now I do try them on again later on and they're not comfortable. So definitely they need like a stocking and or a sock because where the toe meets your foot, it really does like dig into your skin and it actually is really painful. So that makes me question if I should get these or not, but still very cute. For some of the women's clothing, we can see this and we can see a lot of cute stuff. Again, a lot of the Lafacanza stuff, which I do have an entire video about. It will be linked right above and in the description below. A lot of polka dots and beautiful dresses. This cute little sports top, really, really precious and cute. Now I will say the polka dots and the butterflies, I really do like it because of the mixture of them. If it was just one or the other, I don't really think I would like it. But this dress is really cute with the open back of it. Very, very pretty. Now for the most beautiful, colorful section, they did have this one, which is more of their newer season. Still the La Facanza collection. Now this top is so cute. I would totally get that if I did wear that. That would be so cute. I do like that top as well. Now these are all very silky. We do have a beautiful new bathrobe and a bikini top. These are made in terry cloth, so it will have that like towel and the bathrobe feel to it. And then this robe right here is really beautiful as well. Now this actually has like a silk feel to it. Beautiful butterflies on the back and it does say Versace. Let's actually lift up the hood so we can get a beautiful shot of it. Very, very pretty. And then we also have it in blue as well. As you know, I did just post my bathrobe video. They did send me a free robe, so that was really cool. But over here, this beautiful denim dress. Now this is so gorgeous. If I could, I totally would, and maybe I will one day. This is absolutely amazing. Another amazing piece is this one. Now, I am obsessed with cute little crop top cardigans and an old fashioned mini skirt. It's so 90s and so clueless. This is so beautiful. And then over here, we have this beautiful top as well, which they do make it in pink. And I do love the pink one and this beautiful dress even. Uh, if I could, I totally would. For the men's, we actually have this brand new tote bag. And this is a denim tote bag in the men's section. This is actually really cool, very underrated. I think this is really cool how it has like the arrows pointing down on the straps. Very spacious and very recommended. Now, of course, no matter where you go, Versace will always have these in stock. The beautiful black and gold silk and some of their most iconic shirts for men. Now for the men's section, they didn't really have anything new in stock. Kind of like the same old, same old. They did have this jacket, which I did try on in my last Versace vlog, along with this terry cloth shirt. Very, very cute. They do have a bucket hat that matches that as well. Very, very cool. And then they do have these clothes over here, which totally remind me of my friend Devin with the colors and the pinks. Very, very cute. Now for their new season, they only had a very small rack, but they did have this one right here, which kind of reminds me of like a Hawaiian shirt, but like a Versace styled Hawaiian shirt. And then they did have this one right here, long sleeves with the blue, kind of like cowboy related, but this one with the short sleeves. Now this is made out of silk and this one was actually kind of eye catching, Personally, I probably wouldn't get it, but out of the rack here, this is definitely my favorite piece. So after Versace, I did go to Saks Fifth Avenue to look at more Versace, and we can actually see the pink terry cloth sweater that matches the bucket hat we tried on earlier. And then we do have a few of the mannequin wearing the entire outfit, 
And I can totally see my friend Devin wearing this entire outfit. It is so him and such a cute look. One of the shirts that I did try on in Saks Fifth Avenue was this gorgeous white button up. Now this was kind of a little bit see-through, but I did have Versace written all over the shirt, but I did blend into the white. So it was very like low key underrated. It would look beautiful with a tuxedo jacket on top of it. Very, very cool. Oh, I would actually love to pair this with a tuxedo now. But this is really, really cool. I do recommend it. It is a beautiful fit as well. Now for some more Versace heels, they did have this beautiful one as well, which I actually really loved. Now this is a beautiful pink color and these actually retail for $900. So a little less expensive than the other ones we've seen at the Versace boutique, but very, very pretty. Now personally, I also love the ones at the very far left of the screen. The pink ones, so cute. So the next day I actually did go back to the Versace boutique to try on a couple pair of heels, but I did see this beautiful handbag and I wanted to actually try this on because this little size really grew on me. So this is a thousand dollars, but if it does go on sale for 500, I will totally get it because this is totally worth the price of 500. But this bag, it's really, really cute. It's perfect for the inside. You won't have trouble fitting in your keys, your wallet and everything you would need. So really, really cool. And this one is definitely approved by me. For the high heels, I had to come back and look at these pink crystal ones. Now, unfortunately they didn't have my size to try these on, but these are so glamorous. I totally loved them. I also really loved these black ones as well. Now these are so smooth and I love the giant Medusa head on them. And they're recently priced. I think these are only like 800 or $500. This heel I had to come back and look at because I don't know what this is. The heel part is just so small. I know people like hidden heels, but this is just like infant galore and I don't know what that shoe is. Now we finally get to try on the brat heels. Now I would get the color in the lilac, but these are so, so gorgeous. Now, of course they do have the beautiful crystals on the ankle strap and they are just so stunning. However, with these, you do have to be careful because my essay showed me that if the heels hit together on their own material, it will cause a lot of scuffs. So be careful not to hit the heels together. For my outfit today, we have a simple white t-shirt and my Versace swim shorts with my Prada shoes. And for the heels, these are so cute. I love these so much. Now, first I'm trying them on with socks because I want to get the difference between socks and no socks. And it's actually a good thing I did because these are really, really comfortable with the socks. They don't hurt at all, but without the socks, they are actually quite painful on the toe area. And I will get to that just a little bit later on, but these are so cute and I love them so much. So when it comes to these, I totally feel like I am wearing hooves on these. These are so fun to wear. Without the socks, they look just as cute. I do actually prefer them without the socks, but for comfortability, it is good with the socks because right where it meets your toe, it's just so hard and stiff that the material kind of digs into your actual toe and it kind of hurts a little bit. But let's go ahead and do some cute little struts. So we'll go ahead and strut, strut, strut. I must say that I have been getting so many compliments wearing these heels and I honestly don't want to take them off. Yes, they are a little bit painful on the toe. Maybe I can get used to them or maybe there's something we can incorporate to fix that problem. But these are so precious. So let's go ahead and just do a cute little tiny strut. And uh, I loved walking in these. I could actually walk in these like all day. They are so fun. These ones, I 100% totally do want them. Now for the black pair, my essay said that these were pretty hard to walk in because they don't have an ankle strap. I actually found them to be so easy and she was totally impressed when I started walking them. She was like, well, aren't you a natural? You walk better than me. And I'm like, yes, I know. I was totally born for these heels. But uh, these are so fun. Now, because these are calfskin leather, putting your foot in them, they are so incredibly soft. So they are so, so comfortable. Like, I really definitely did not want to take these off because of the leather against my bare foot. It was so cool. Now, these ones, totally love them. I actually will be getting these eventually. I don't know when. These are brand new season, so I'm not too much in a hurry for them. Coming up, I do have a vlog where I go to Christian Louboutin and I try and heels, and these are my favorite, favorite pair. 
These ones were just so ridiculously beautiful. 100% sex and the city. I love these heels so much. These ones retail for $1,200, and I have a lot more footage of these. They will be coming up in a future Christian Louboutin vlog. Along with this pair of heels too, this will be coming up in an upcoming vlog, but these are totally like 13 going on 30. Barbie meets Bratz, and these are so precious and so cute. Wow, I actually really do love these. These were like my favorite pair. And I felt so cool because when I was walking in Saks Fifth Avenue, I had like three ladies stop and they were just average Joe customers. And they were like, you have got to get those. Those are so cute. I had like a crowd of people watching me walk in them. Even guys, I had such a great reaction with the guys too. Like the guys were totally so supportive of them. It was honestly a really, really fun moment. And I felt so empowered and just so like, freed but also very loved at the same time and it was just such a great experience okay and that's it thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it make sure you like subscribe and comment down below definitely comment what was your favorite pair of heels because there were so many to choose from now i'm also really excited because i do have a shopping vlog from christian louboutin coming as well where i try on some of the most beautiful high heels Ever, and I'm so excited to release that video. However, thanks again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and have a great day. Au revoir.